Good morning, guys. I thought I'd bring you along for a little day in the life. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. This is little Jack. He's in a hand-me-down, so in case there's any confusion about that. Um, I gave him another little haircut. As you can see, the back of his head is a lot shorter. I kind of like how it feels, looks. I love him. Anyways, uh, I have a lot of things that I need to get done today, and we woke up a little earlier than I was hoping. But I kind of feel like, like I always put my wake schedule in God's hands. So today we're going to go to daily mass because we woke up in time for that. And I kind of feel like God woke up Jack for the day when he did because I plan on going shopping after daily mass. So maybe it's in God's plan that Jack sleeps through church and sleeps through the shopping trip and makes my whole life a lot easier. We'll see. I will definitely let you know how that goes. But we're going to do that. And then I have some things that I need to get done today. So I just thought I'd bring you along. Okay, guys, we are home. I gotta say, mass was a struggle for me today. Aubrey was testing me big time. I was right about the Holy Spirit blessing me with Jack. He is actually still sleeping. He started sleeping maybe like an hour before we were going to be leaving for church, and he is still sleeping after we ran errands and stuff. So thank goodness he was sleeping because like I said, Aubrey was testing me big time. It was a little discouraging, but I know that it's better to bring her to church than to not go at all. So I'm going to still continue to try to go, but it was a struggle for me. But after mass, I met a really nice lady and she's one of kind of an, our neighbors. She's in the same kind of area. And, you know, I, I enjoyed talking with her. She gave me words of encouragement. So that was a blessing. And afterwards we headed on over to the Dollar Tree. I'll show you what I got in a second. And then we went to the grocery store right nearby and picked up a watermelon and strawberries because we're low on fruit here. After that, we headed on over to Starbucks and I got Aubrey her pup cup, her obligatory pup cup. And then I picked up my favorite drink concoction. It's essentially a caramel macchiato but I order it in a way that actually saves me money. I don't think that they charge extra for a milk substitute, so that's like an even more savings. And I will link the video up above where I share how to order in order to save money, but that's my cue. Jack is waking up, so let me feed him and then I'll show you my haul. Hi, big guy. Hi, big guy. Okay, so let me show you the little update on his arm. This is a sock that I cut the toe off. And I put Aquaphor on and wrapped it with saran wrap. Stop right there, Romeo. I wrapped it with saran wrap. Aubrey came in screaming. And then, um, no, I'll rip it. it looks a whole lot better than it once did. I think that's just the aquaphor, extra aquaphor. But uh, his skin starts like oozing a little bit, the plasma or something. So I'm gonna let it air dry for a little bit and then at his next nap, cover him back up. But I have it on both arms. Do you feel better, bubs? Okay, so from Dollar Tree, I got some bubble bath. We were running low, stocked up on this soap. I really love how it smells. And it's it was probably, I think, one of the best deals for the ounces. And then I needed to get some equivalent to magic erasers for some like chalkboard marker stuff. I wanted another one of these for a cabinet that I'm going to keep some activities in for Aubrey that I don't want people getting into. So that's what that is. Got some extra sponges, some extra band-aids because we got a lot of boo-boos here. And then I love like these exfoliating gloves. So I got one of these or two of these. Oh gosh. So I got two of these and then my sister loves like bars of soap. So I thought this might be a fun little gift for her. You just plop it in and then secure it on top and then you wash yourself with it and it keeps the soap in but like lathers you up. So just a little something for her. And then I got my little to-do list today. Uh, the main thing that's important is calling my insurance and then the rest of the stuff may or may not happen in this video. <laughs> we'll see. 
So the reason I have to call the you know healthcare provider or whatever, when we went in for Aubrey's urgent care visit, I had called seeing if they accepted our insurance and they said yes. Well, I didn't check to see if it was in network. So they charged us for out of network and her bill was like $800 just to go in, confirm that it was an ear infection and prescribe us a $3 medication. It's ridiculous how expensive that was. And I feel like totally misled. So Juan called to, you know, just kind of see really why it was so expensive. And in doing so, in some ways it was a blessing that her bill was so much because we actually saw that we're being like double charged for Jack's birth. So hopefully we'll save a few thousand dollars from this mishap, even though her bill is, you know, expensive. We learned a lesson. We're going to find someplace else to go. But anyways, I got a call to see if we can like stop our payment plan. And then I just have a lot of anxiety because as I've shared in the past, like I hate not knowing exactly what to say. And there, when you make a phone call like this, you could talk to like a bunch of different people and there's different routes on like what could happen. And Juan was the one who was dealing with it yesterday. So I'm not like a hundred percent knowledgeable of everything and it's not committed to my head. So I was just like tons of anxiety about making these phone calls and I just hate it. So that is my main thing to do today. Sorry, Aubrey keeps walking in and out. So that's my main thing to do today. That's like the thing I need to get done. And then everything else on my list is kind of extra. It may just be a get it all done video like sometime in the future. Um, but I do wanna show you guys a really cool product as well. So I'll do that while Jack's awake while I don't have to like focus on a phone call and like stress about that. So the really cool product that I'm reviewing today is the automatic drip irrigation system. I really could have used this when we went on vacation because one of my trees totally died. And this thing actually, you can set up like how frequently and how much you want it to water your plants. Great if you're leaving the house or if you're just forgetful like me. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up and the just the really cool features of this drip irrigation system. I'd like to thank Nico for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent me this awesome automatic plant watering system to try out. The set comes with the motor, a clip to suspend the motor above the water source, two three-way joints, three sets of four irrigation drippers, two meters or about six and a half feet of tubing, and one USB to charge the device. Setting up this device was really easy. First, I charged my device with the provided USB cord. When charging, you will see a red light displayed, and after a full charge, the red light will turn off. This device will water your plants for two to three months after a full charge, which I find really nice. Next, you will need to decide how many irrigation drippers you will need to use. Since the set comes with a total of 12, you can water up to 12 different pots at a time. I only planned on watering two of my plants using this device, so I connected one end of the tubing to one set of four irrigation drippers and planned on using two drippers per plant. If you only have one plant to water, you could put all four drippers in the pot or clamp off some of the drippers. Since I only planned on using one set of drippers, there was no need for me to use the T-joints, but they are provided so that you can water using all three sets of irrigation drippers if you want. Next, you need to cut the tubing based on your needs. Since I was just using one set of drippers, I only needed to cut off a little portion for the water intake and use the rest for the water outtake. However, if you are going to use all of the drippers, you will need to cut off more sections of the tubing to connect the drippers to each other using the T-joints. There are some really easy to copy diagrams on the Amazon page for you to reference if you plan on setting it up this way. To demonstrate how this works, I set up a water source and put the drippers in an empty glass. You will want to make sure that the device is suspended above the water source to avoid siphoning. Next, you have to choose your watering settings. Press the days button to determine how often you wish to water. Zero means the device won't water at all. HH means the device will water every 12 hours or twice a day. One means it will water once every day. Two means it will water once every two days and so on. Then press the time button to determine how long the device will water for. Zero one means it will water for one second. 0, 02 means it will water for two seconds, and so on. After 20 seconds, the time will go up by five second intervals until it reaches 90. 
Then H1 will mean it will water for two minutes, and H2 means it will water for three minutes. If you are like me and have a relatively black thumb, you may not know exactly how much water each plant needs to receive. I suggest looking up this information based on your plants and then calculating how long the device needs to pump water in order to reach your desired amount. The machine pumps out 20 milliliters per second. So if all four drippers are in one pot, it is relatively easy to calculate how long you need to set the time for. If you need to provide your plant with 100 milliliters of water each day, you will need to set the device to five seconds. If you are watering multiple pots, the calculation will change because the water is getting divided up among the pots. Assuming each pot needs to receive the same amount of water, first calculate the total amount of water needed by multiplying together the number of pots and the amount of water each pot needs to receive. Then divide this number by 20 to determine the number of seconds the machine needs to be set for. The instructions do provide a little calculation scenario, so if you aren't really sure, you can look up the instructions, and if you really need help, you can reach out to me since math is my strong suit. I think this product is awesome for someone like me who forgets that they even have plants to take care of, or someone who just vacations a lot and doesn't want their plants to die while they're gone. I love that the machine doesn't need to be recharged super frequently too. The only thing that may need to be tended to a little bit more frequently is filling up the water source. I used a relatively small water container, so I will have to refill that pot pretty often, but if you get a large enough container, you could essentially forget about your plants for months and all should be well. Again, I'd like to thank Nico for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you would like to get one of these for yourself or a loved one, I will place the Amazon link in the description box below. Now, let's go ahead and get back to my very busy day. Okay guys, I did it. I just got off the phone with people with the doctor's appointments. I had like a script because I stressed about this so much and because it wasn't like, I'm not, it's not my area of expertise. Juan was the one who talked with them yesterday. So I was like trying to make sure I didn't screw things up. And then I have my notes from today. Hopefully things will be resolved in the coming weeks or whatever. But yeah, this all started again because of Aubrey's urgent care bill. I don't think we would have ever realized that we were gonna have to pay like a couple extra thousand dollars because for Jack's birth if it wasn't for Aubrey getting that ear infection. So even though we have to pay more for her because I, I went to the wrong or urgent care, it's kind of a blessing because we're, we actually in doing the research of why it was so expensive, we realized that we were overpaying for a previous thing. So, sorry, my brain is just scrambled today, but I'm just so proud of myself for calling. Hopefully it's resolved. Like I said, it's probably gonna take a few weeks. So hopefully, hopefully nothing else will have to be done. We've already had some bad experiences like last year with the insurance and stuff. Like we, it, it, our insurance apparently paid for something and then my health provider never got it. So then I was like, I don't wanna be late. So we paid um, additionally and then the other payment was never found. So like we were out like one or 200 bucks there and we never ever got it back. And it was just really frustrating because you know, we knew that we were going to have all these expenses with the house and everything coming up. And it's just, you know, we were trying to be uh, good stewards with our money and not just like throwing it all away. And so, yeah, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. Let's get on to more fun stuff. Uh, today, I, I wanted to set up my whiteboard using like a chalk marker pen and make it more of like a command center so that we can kind of see the month at a glance and have it look prettier. So let's go ahead and do that with just a nice fun song playing in the background and hopefully I'll make it look pretty and then we'll see what else is on my little to-do list.
What else do you want to say, Bubs? It's poor arms. They definitely look better than before, but they're just still so bad. I want them to be creamy like his cheeks. Yes, they do. Okay, guys, I am just checking in. I really haven't been able to do much because Jack's arms, as you guys saw, are really bad and so every time he wakes up i take off his like arm socks and the plastic wrap and i rub in the aquaphor and then i let it air dry and then i pretty much have to hold him because you know he flails his arms as he sleep or as he's awake and he's like playing and then i don't want it to like rub on stuff and like really irritate him so as soon as i notice that he's like cranky or if he's starting to start flailing everywhere i pick him up and i'm just holding him the whole time so i'm not able to get like anything done so those cookies and the toy organization and whatever else I had on my list is probably going to wait. Right now I am making some noodles. I am kind of cooking them ahead of time so that they're at least done. And then I can heat up the sauce and meatballs when it's like closer to dinner. I just got to, I got to do whatever I can when I can with Jack, especially just how he is. I don't want to be standing here trying to hold my like 20 pound, four month old almost near the stove. So doing what I can when I can. Hopefully that motivates anyone else who feels overwhelmed. But let's see, I also have to cut up some watermelon. So let's go ahead and do that now. I know that Aubrey's gonna love it. Juan loves watermelon. I like watermelon. Hopefully I picked a good one today. Apparently the trick is like you want to get ones with like a bunch of like, I don't know, this stuff or the, where is it? Like lines and stuff, cause that is apparently the sugar portion, like kind of creeping out. So if you have a lot of those like brown things that make it look kind of ugly, it actually means it will taste good. So I'm hoping that these lines here mean that I did a good job picking it out. So let's go ahead and cut this up. And honestly, this might be all that I get done today. <laughs> and I can be proud of that, but you know, I, I wanted to get more done, but oh well, you know what? It's fine, it'll be another video, something to look forward to. I'm gonna be making the worst chocolate chip cookie recipe. My brother made it for our family vacation and it was so delicious. So I'm like, I have to give this a try. It's one that I haven't tried before. And again, Aubrey's toys are kind of horrendous. I do want to show you guys a couple things. So I have made some progress on her toys, just kind of getting them out of the way and like out of sight, out of mind. So that's at least some progress. And then we've also had a lot of progress in our backyard. So before I cut this watermelon, my head's all over the place today. Let me show you our backyard. All right, so it looks kind of messy out here, but we've had workers come out and like dig where the retaining wall is gonna be. They've actually started laying some of the bricks out over there. And so we're just really excited that our yards you know, on its way to kind of being done. So this is kind of like the end of it. And then, like I've mentioned, we want to have like a, a cement path that goes around so that Aubrey can like bike in a figure eight. So the cement path and the retaining wall is all that we're really doing right now. California is gonna be doing like, or having a drought where you can only water like once a week. So we're not gonna get new grass and only water it once a week. So we're gonna postpone putting any type of grass. We'll probably just put mulch or something like where the grass will eventually go, but we'll have the cement path and we'll have our retaining wall in. So it'll be progress and we can always wait. I'm kind of patient. I'd rather wait for it to be what we want than to try to do something, you know, like in the meantime or try to rush something or overpay or whatever. So that's kind of our backyard. Let's finish up dinner and see what else God has in store for me today. Okay, so I've never really made up my mind on which style I like to cut watermelon, but I made these little spears because Aubrey can just hold it and munch away. And then I also cut up little bits and pieces for like dinners and stuff. And then 
the rest of this, I'll probably just do more spears because honestly, I, I feel like that's the easiest. And then we got this guy over here making some weird noises. I'm pretty sure he filled up his diaper. <laughs> that's coming from his mouth, I'm pretty sure, but it also could be from the other end. Okay, Jack is down for his last nap of the day. Uh, the watermelon has been cut up. Dinner leftovers have been packaged up. So that is done. I'm running a load in the dishwasher and hopefully those will be put away at some point tonight before Jack goes to bed so that I don't have to stay up too much later. I do have a couple last minute dishes that like are didn't fit in and still have to get cleaned up. So, oh my gosh, today was a big day. Uh, the kids are also bathed. Jack's arm is still like oozy, so I don't know. If you guys could just pray for him, I'd really appreciate that. I, it's, I'm doing the best I can to take care of him. He has an upcoming doctor's appointment anyways, so I was, you know, it's starting to look better, and I'm hoping that by his doctor's appointment, it'll just totally be fine, but, you know, I don't want to have to, like, plan another appointment just right before the other one. So, I mean, it doesn't seem to be bothering him. Anyways. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this really chatty kind of day in the life vlog. Sorry that my head is all over the place. This is just how I am a lot of the time. And, you know, maybe some of you guys can relate. Maybe you can't. I don't know. But since I definitely didn't make the worst chocolate chip cookies, sorry for the dishwasher. Since I didn't make the cookies, since I didn't work on Aubrey's toys, and there's like a couple other things I wanted to do, uh, you know, I'll be getting that done in the next couple of days and filming that. Hopefully that'll motivate you to get stuff done. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love to have you stick around and I'll catch you in the next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.